If we want to create a new course, it's important to think about the hierarchy of courses. Buzz has what's called a master derivative concept. Master courses allow you to manage the content for multiple courses in one central location. This diagram illustrates basic relationships between a master course and various types of copies you can create. The master course in number one should be used for content creation and management and shouldn't be used as live courses. Students should not be enrolled in the master course. You will obviously want enrollments in courses. So to do this, I will describe the different derivative types. Once you create a derivative course, you no longer have access to any enrollment data that happens to exist in the master. The derivative courses begin as duplicates of the master course, data that is related to teaching a specific course, like student enrollments, groups, titles, start end dates, agendas, submission, and posts is not inherited. You can unlink master course inheritance in any single element, like an activity, a folder, or a question simply by changing the desired element in the derivative. Once unlinked, the master course no longer impacts that element. However, the rest of the derivative course remains linked and subject to changes in the master. You can re-link inheritance in most elements of a derivative course by changing that element to match the master course again. When you're in the editor of a course, you will click in an item that you want to resync to the master, and then you'll see this icon that says changes. If I click on that, I can click on the date that I made changes. And if I want to relink that back to the master, I click resync here and it will delete the changes I made that unlinked it. Once relinked, the element is again subject to changes in the master. This is not true of assessment questions. Altering assessment questions creates a new ID so that question cannot be relinked to the master by simply changing it back. To finish this concept of derivative copies, it's important to note that there are two ways to make copies. You as an administrator will always be able to make copies. However, if you have given teacher permissions at the domain level to make course copies, they would be able to do that in their dashboard. Let's see here. They could click Manage Courses, and they will see an option to Create Courses. If they don't have that role permission, they will not see this. If you click this, they'll have the same options you would to create courses. This is a great way if you want to allow teachers to manage their own copies.